Level 5, grade E, fractions and percentages or something using the calculator. So these first, let's just put that down a little bit, these first four questions here can be done without a calculator because they are fractions of a quantity. So when we're trying to find a fraction times something, we just divide by the bottom times by the top, or in some cases we times by the top divide by the bottom. 14 divided by 7 is 2, times by 2 is 4. 24 divided by 6 is 4 times 4 is 16. 84 divided by 12 is 7 times 7 is 49. And 16 divided by 8 is 2 times 7 is 14. Okay, so we could do it that way or we could use the calculator. Let's run through these first three again with the calculator. So 2 over 7. Now these uh, new uh, calculators allow you to type the number, the question, exactly as you see it on the page. So there should be no problem with getting the right answer. Question is 4. 4 over 6. Using the arrows to move around the fraction, make sure you come out of the fraction before you multiply. Gives us 16 and this one 7 over 12 times 84 is 49. Okay, good. Now let's look at ones that are slightly harder to do without a calculator. So 2 over 3 times 16 okay gives us 32 over 3 now that's an okay answer but if I want it as a mixed number you got to play around with your calculators some calculators will put it straight into it some we have to play around with and press the right buttons to get there okay next one 5 over 7 times by 30 gives me 21 and 3 sevenths then we've got 1 Ooh. ok if I want a whole number in a mix I need to probably do that 1 and 3 over 7 come out the fraction times by 6 press this to get 8 and 4 sevenths and the last one which you can't see is over there one and two over nine times by seven and change it to a mixed number we get eight and five ninths okay now percentages with a calculator now we do not use any percentage button on a calculator that, that just leads to confusion because they all work in slightly different ways so when we're doing a percentage what we need to do is this 14% of 36 let's so change the 14 into a decimal by dividing by 100 and then we times by 36 so percent means 100 so 15 divided by 100 of 24 of means times times 24 21 divided by 100 times 18 so let's type those into the calculator 14 divided by 100 times by 36 gives us 5.04 15 divided div, divided by 100 times by 24 now when you get good with percentages you can skip a few parts so this divided by 100 I know 21 divided by 100 is 0 0.0.21 times by 18 so I don't need to do the divide by 100 3.78 and the last one which we can't see uh, 33 divided by 100 times by 12 33 divided by 100 times by 12 or 0.33 times 12 and there we have it